From 1960 to 1964, wherever Jacqueline Kennedy went, Clint Hill was never far behind. We had a wonderful relationship. She trusted me, I trusted her. She would look out for me if necessary, and she knew I would look out for her. As a young Secret Service agent, Hill was assigned to the First Lady's detail, an assignment that didn't exactly thrill him. You get the assignment to protect Mrs. Kennedy, you think to yourself, what? My whole career is gone. And it turns out you were in the middle of one of the most consequential moments in American history. Very true. I didn't think it would be interesting at all, and I was completely wrong. Hill was by Jackie's side on November 22, 1963, when President John F. Kennedy was shot. He revisited one of America's and his darkest days with Savannah in Dallas in 2013. And you'll carry this place with you, I guess, the rest of your life. Yes, I do. It's, it's one thing that I'll, I'll never rid myself of. The images and the memories of that day still haunt him. It's a lot of sadness, guilt. We let him down, his family down, Mrs. Kennedy down by not protecting him. I've never gotten over that, and I never will. Hill's revealing for the first time he attempted suicide shortly after Kennedy's assassination, walking into the waters off Palm Beach, Florida one night, writing, I wanted the water to swallow me up. A police officer intervened, saving his life. When you're given a responsibility to do something, you do it to the bitter end no matter what it takes, and I didn't do that. That harsh memory and gentler ones fill the pages of his latest book, My Travels with Mrs. Kennedy, a thing. collection including some never-before-seen pieces of American history. Wow, it's... these are the photos that you took with this camera? Yeah. How does it feel to look at these? Well, you no, know, it's emotional. It's, it's memories. It's days gone by. If not for his wife and co-author, Lisa McCubbin Hill, these treasures might have remained hidden in an old trunk in Hill's garage, or worse. He would find these pictures of Jacqueline Kennedy in, in Italy and say, well, I don't know, do we keep these or throw them? And I'm like, oh my God, everything that he had was part American of history. history yeah. Hill is sharing the incredible stories behind some of his favorite photos taken by himself and others, like this one, the grinning and elegant Jackie Kennedy with her husband at a White House state dinner with France's Minister of Culture, Andre Malraux. That night, she convinced him when he went back to Paris is to convince de Gaulle to allow the Mona Lisa to come to the United States. For people that might not know this, the Mona Lisa, for a time, was in the National Portrait Gallery in the United States. That's correct. And it was Jackie Kennedy who convinced the French government to allow it to come to the U.S. That's exactly right. It was her doing. And you were there for that? I was there for that. And these from a diplomatic mission to India. Mrs. Kennedy surrounded by locals clamoring to meet her. Hill says these shots of Mrs. Kennedy and her sister Lee on top of a camel on a visit to Pakistan most captured her essence. There was nothing that she wouldn't try or do. She had loved life and wanted to live it to the fullest amount, fullest extent possible. And that was the kind of thing she loved. Among his most treasured pictures are the candid and intimate images of Mrs. Kennedy, private moments of the woman he knew so well. How many people got to have that view of her? Very few, very few people ever saw her like that. It showed how she really lived. On his many travels, occasionally the lens caught the Secret Service man himself, who preferred to blend into the landscape. There you are, look like you're not having a bad time in Italy. No, that was, I was relaxing. <laughs> I'm on a security boat, and Mrs. Kennedy's on a sailboat that is anchored nearby. Yeah, I was given Opening that trunk brought back a flood of memories for Hill many that he had buried for decades. But ultimately, he says it's been a healing journey. There were a lot of good days when I was assigned to Mrs. Kennedy. There were some of the worst days one can imagine, but there were so many good days. And that's what I remembered was the good days. What a man. The photos, uh, honestly, that really spoke to me were the simple ones. The images of Mrs. Kennedy eating gelato. She was water skiing with Caroline, even relaxing in a corner. It felt like anybody could have taken them on their family vacation, yeah. like we were all there with them. And, and for Clint Hill, 
he really was. Yeah, part of the family nice. there. And unbelievable. I mean, you had so much uh, time with him. Uh, you know, he's mm. what a what a remarkable guy. Mm. Yeah, definitely. And you do you still feel that weight that he carries. Yeah. I mean, he said it. He'll always carry it. He'll always feel that responsibility. You mm -hmm. know, even though he of course did the best that he a could. A piece of American history. Yeah. Wow, that thank, was you. Beautiful. thank you. Beautiful Jacob. Story, Jacob. Thank you. Thank you guys. All right, guys. Again, the book is My Travels with Mrs. Kennedy, and it is out today. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.